Hey guys, just like at and and T-Mobile, in this video I will be showing you how to install the hacked carrier update file on your Verizon iPhone 5, iPad 4, iPad 3, and iPad mini, and basically get faster LTE speeds on the Verizon network. And yes, there is a significant difference, like I will show you later on in this video. You know, it's completely safe, you can always go back. And if you do notice that Verizon is throttling your data after a certain point, this will actually remove those limitations, so you know, you won't notice that throttling as much. Anyways, let's go ahead and begin. It's very simple. And like I just said, you can remove it very easily. Now for Mac users, of course, you want to go ahead and open up terminal on Windows that is CMD or command prompt. So once you do have it open, I will provide this text down below in the description. For Mac, you can just go ahead and copy and paste it right into that prompt. And on Windows, you can either copy and paste it or enter it manually. I would personally enter it manually. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that in there, press enter, and you guys are done. If it does ask you for a password, go ahead and enter it. So basically this just allowed iTunes to accept custom carrier files. Anyways, you guys want to go ahead and close out of iTunes and restart it, make sure it is really closed. So restart it and make sure your iPhone is plugged in. Now with that being done, go ahead and hold option on your Mac keyboard or shift on Windows and left click update. This will bring up this little prompt and go ahead and select the IPCC file. It will update your iPhone carrier settings and that's that. You guys are now done on your computer. So on your iPhone, go ahead and quickly reboot it. Now as a little disclaimer, I do want to mention your results may vary. It all depends on your location, you know, the tower location around you. You may not see the results that I'm getting, but initially I did have 33 megabits download speed and that went up to 41 after this carrier update. So, you know, I'm happy with that. Not only does it fix my throttling that Verizon puts upon us, you know, I also get faster data speeds in my location. So if this does not work, I will also provide an original carrier file for your Verizon iPhone 5 and iPads that you can go ahead and revert to just in case you know you don't see a difference and you want to go back to stock basically follow this video once again but using the stock carrier file and i do hope this does work for you guys you know especially if you have the unlimited data plan like me i'm grandfathered into it from a long time ago and it just works better now that i have faster data speeds and no throttling anyways guys i do hope you enjoyed this video of course if it doesn't work you can always go back but hopefully it did work for you have a great day guys enjoy this carrier hack peace